Welcome to my Beauty Supply Slay series. My name is Winnie Jean. I'm a content creator who specializes in showing you guys how to get salon quality hair at home. In each episode, I'll show you a new hairstyle that you can achieve using hair from your local beauty supply store. I believe that every girl should be able to slay their own hair in a pinch and on a budget. And with my tips, tricks, and product recommendations, you'll be ready in no time. Hey loves, welcome to my channel. If you're new here and if you're returning, hey girl, how you doing? My name is Winnie Jean. Welcome to my Beauty Supply Store series where I'm showing you guys how you can get really cute styles with hair that you can find at the Beauty Supply Store. I know a lot of people are into ordering hair, but when you're in a pinch, ain't nobody got time for that. And I haven't done a faux lock tutorial in quite a while, so I'm ready to get into it, honey. I've pre-twisted my hair. I actually washed it, deep conditioned it, put oils in it, and I put it in two strand twists because I wanted this to be a really beginner friendly faux lock tutorial. And I also wanna give you guys a couple tricks on how you can get your hair to look lived in. Like nobody want no fresh faux locks with the parts all crisp. At least I don't. If that's your vibe, that's your vibe. I like my hair when it grows out a little bit. Of course, if you go to a stylist, they're gonna do like the braids and all of that typically just because they want to make sure it's really, really tight and neat. But I don't really like their look. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do on myself at home. The hair that we're gonna be working with today is by Shake & Go. It is their three-time pop and twist hair. I have the color 1B and this is in 28 inches. I know we're doing a bob today, but I like to work with longer hair just because you need less of it. You don't have to use multiple pieces per lock. I can just use one piece, but it'll make a little more sense in a second. This hair can be found at your local beauty supply store it really should be able to but just in case i'll put a link down below in the description bar for where you can find it on amazon it's their pre-fluffed pop and twist hair so it's super easy to work with and it's the perfect texture the perfect texture for faux locks if you have like 4a 4b 4c hair so without further ado let's get into the tutorial all right so i have my hair here it comes with these three little bundles of hair, so I'm gonna just pop them out of the package. So this is one of the bundles. It has like a little rubber band on the end. I'm just gonna take it off. All right, and then each of the sections is pre-sectioned. So as you can see, this one has like one, two, three, four, five, six, six pre-sectioned little pieces. So before I even start my hair, I like to open up at least two packs because I know I'm gonna need at least two packs just to have everything like laid out. So once I start actually doing the lock part, then I don't have to stop. Normally you would have to like pre-section the hair and fluff everything out. And that alone can take like 30 minutes to an hour, especially if you're doing like long locks and you have lots of hair. So it's really convenient to have the hair pre-fluffed. I wish I had more access to this hair when I first started doing locks cause I really, really like it. Okay, so. We have all of our hair ready to go. So I'm about to go ahead and start. Let me go ahead and count how many twists I have in my hair because I know somebody's gonna ask, even though you do not have to have the exact same number of twists or locks as me, because your head size is completely different, that your head shape can be different. It does not have to be the exact same, but I'm gonna go ahead and count them because I'm not gonna do y'all like that. I know somebody's gonna wanna know, so let me see. All right, I have 38 twists in my hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and part out the first row. I didn't use a comb when I did my twist. I kind of just pulled out pieces of hair and twisted them. And I didn't make them super tight either. And I've also been wearing them for two days. So girl, they are not perfect. I really wanted to show you guys how imperfect you can be with this hairstyle. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm taking one of the pre-section pieces and I'm holding my twist in this hand and I'm taking one of the pre-section pieces with, I don't know, like maybe a quarter of the hair. And I'm going to put the short side with my twist and hold those together really tightly at the root. Holding it really tightly will allow us to get the grip that we need so that the lock really lasts. So I'm holding my twist and the shorter end of the extension hair together. 
Then I'm gonna grab the longer end of the extension here and I'm going to twist it tightly. Not super tight, but taut, okay? Around the base of my twist. And you can do it three to five times. And then once you have it to where it feels a bit secure, I'm gonna just start to wrap going down, but I'm not like, ugh, ugh. I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm literally just laying it over the hair. Literally just laying it over. It's not like, I'm not putting a lot of pressure at all. And I wanna go for like medium, not too short, not too long. I should have wore a different shirt so y'all can see actually. I'm gonna finish this one, then I'm gonna change my shirt. So as you can see, it's about armpit length. You can go way shorter, but my hair is kind of long now. And I also want locks that are long enough to put in a ponytail. So this is the little piece of hair that was with our twist. So now that we're past our twist, all there is is this little piece of hair left. I'm gonna go ahead and put that little piece with the rest of the hair I was wrapping then I'm going to twist, as you can see, and then I'm just going to wrap whatever is left back up the lock. Now, once you get to this little piece left, because I don't wanna use any glue or fire, I'm gonna wrap this end piece pretty tightly. You wanna wrap it until you literally can't anymore. And then if you have any little curls and stuff coming off of your lock, then you want to either leave them, if you like that more chill look, and if you want it to be a little more polished, you can just wrap those around the lock as well. All right, this is our first lock. I'm about to go change my shirt so y'all can see. All right, that's a lot better, so much better. I wanna show you guys one more in detail and then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed through the rest so you guys can just like, five out and one of my favorite things about this hairstyle is that you really don't need much to do it you could crochet the hair through the root if you've seen some of my older tutorials you know that i like to do that most of the time but that's if i'm going to be wearing my locks for like three to four months if you just plan on wearing them for like a month or two you don't have to do all of that and also as a beginner it can be a little bit confusing and it can also get a little too tight so i feel like this particular method <laughs> is a little bit more like easy and beginner friendly but if you want to see one of my older tutorials where i'll show you guys how to put locks in that are gonna like last i'll go ahead and link that here all right so i got this one out here's my little twist grab the piece of hair with a quarter of it on one side and the longer side over here i'm gonna put the short side with my twist then with the longer side i'm wrapping around the base three to five times. All right, all right, all right. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and just lay the hair over, not pulling or tugging in any kind of way, just laying it over. It should be super loose. The only area you want to be tight is the root because that's where you don't want it to come out at. And I'm just kind of taking a look at it next to the other lock to make sure they're even. Then once I have it to a place I'm comfortable with, I'm going to put this little piece of hair that was with my twist and the long piece together. We're gonna flip it up, as you can see, and then I'm just racking the rest of the hair back up the lock. And it does not have to be perfect. Any, by any means. And then if you have any little pieces that aren't wrapped, just give them a little wrap. Okay, at this point, honey, I'm about to turn my music on, turn on a little Ozark and get into it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I finish my hair and doing my hair without watching the show or music kind of sucks you know what I mean so it is 10 22 as a little time stamp um and we'll see how long it takes for me to finish
All right, so I just finished up the first pack of hair and we're low-key more than half done, I think. Um, so I thought I would need three packs, but I think I'm only gonna end up needing two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and just unwrap all of the little mini bundles. And it comes with three, but I think I'm only gonna prep two because I don't think we're gonna end up using the entire pack. And I prefer to keep the hair kind of like bundled up like this. I'm gonna put it right back in the bag and in my weave drawer, okay? All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, so this is the finished look. I had it like in a slightly off center side part, but I like mine like far, far over. So I flipped a couple locks over. It's super full, even though we only have like 40 locks in our head, a little less than 40 locks. I actually have my baby hair done with my twist, so I don't have to do my baby hairs. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. Thank you again to Shake and Go for working with me. Again, this is the 28 inch pop and twist hair in color 1B. You can find it at your local beauty supply, or if I can find it, I'll put a link down below in the description bar to like Amazon or something. I love you guys so much. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this whole beauty supply store series. I hope that you're really enjoying it and I will see you in my next video. Bye babes.